Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Fay here with another episode of Harvest Moon Animal Parade. All right, we did a lot of grinding again. Two weeks of grinding. Um, once again, I only got all the kids up one heart. So let's see who was. <laughs> did we like get anyone to max that wasn't max before? I already forgot. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been too long since I played this. But we got Lucy to nine, and we got. Heath to eight, fan five, and man, I think we just left as 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 nine hearts. No, we didn't get him. we we could have boosted him to ten hearts, but yeah, I was busy grinding some fishing skill. <laughs> we got another tick down. We got we still got two more bars to go, two more boxes to fill up before we get max rank. But we're getting there. It's taking a while, but we're getting there. Catching lots of fishies. I have so many barracuda. <laughs> I think I think I have enough barracuda to satisfy the, the ultimate fishing requirement. Alright, I guess I'll check the weather for tomorrow. Not that it would matter. It'll be a beautiful sunny day. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's gift my husband some hot coffee. He's at 19 hearts still. He is at the cusp of 20 hearts. I've been waiting to... Get him to max hearts because of this. Good morning. Have some coffee. Oh, I love this. Thank you. I need some coffee. <laughs> I woke up. I woke up early to record this. And ta-da! Where'd my furniture go? Where'd my husband go? Oh well, we got a power berry. Your friendship level with Gail is max. You got a power berry. What number is that? Your stamina has increased. It's been forever since I've gotten a power berry. <laughs> cool. I can catch more fish now before I have to eat something. So yeah, getting 20 hearts with your husband, which is max affection for your husbando or, or waifu, will get you a power berry. Uh, how m Do we have like five? <laughs> I think we got like three, three more to go. Five, five, five out of eight. All right, cool. It's been so long since we got into Powerberry. Okie doke. So, what's the plan for today? I kind of want to do the Animal Festival, but I don't want to do all the categories again. I think I'm going to skip... I'm going to skip uh, the horse race. Be for, like, for one, because I'm, t I'm too lazy to find my, my classic controller again to be able to do that competently. And... And yeah, I, I'm kind of curious to see if uh, you keep the crown on an animal's head, even if you don't participate in the category. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, uh, oh god, the baby can be heard from this room. I'm pretty sure, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, the crowns get, like, passed around the animals, like, who get first place. I don't think all the animals can get crowns, but this is a good place to check, I guess. Good time. Good opportunity. Alright, what else do we need? I guess we can give some gifts to the kiddos. That will be good and while we wait for the festival to actually happen. <laughs> Let's see who, can, who we can find outside today. Obviously, we're not finding Angie. We're not finding Dakota. We're not finding Matt outside. Even though you would think you'd be outside on the animal festival, but... <laughs> Oh well. Alright, we got Lucy. We just need... There, how many gifts? Three? We got, we got egg. We got egg for Heath. And we got tea for Van. And I guess we'll just talk to everyone else normally. That's weird. It feels weird not giving that many gifts to people. Alright, I guess we'll go to Garmin Mines. And... Fart around until Lucy comes out of the house. <laughs> Hopefully this will be like a, a short episode. I think I think my boyfriend <laughs> I think my boyfriend gets out at 9.30, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when he comes back home. This is like a quick opportunity for me to record. I've been trying so hard to keep up with the daily uploads, but it's finally I it finally caught up to me. <laughs> like uh, I don't have that many spare videos. In the backlog anymore until I just like post every day so it's like I gotta play some and then and then record and it, it often takes many many days to even like get to a point when I can record I should like work on a side project but yeah I'm kind of like holding out 
because... So do I want to track Lucy? I'm going to track Lucy just in case. I don't think she comes out right away on a festival day. Yeah, if I do work on a new project, it's, it's going to be with a new capture card. And I got to fix my wiring. It's like... If I just start plugging things in, I have like an HDMI that's running like across my feet and like it's, it's tripping hazard. I could, I could like accidentally kick it and like cut out the recording. That would be devastating, especially if I was recording for a long time. So yeah, still have the old setup. I probably should get a longer HDMI so I could like run it behind my computer instead of like in front of my legs. That'd be the smart thing to do. I just have to fight. I know I have like a ton of HDMI's. So I just like don't know where they are because we put them away like oh we don't need these in some hidden drawer and I'm guessing Lucy is going to come out at 8 get to talk to all the kids to see what they say about the festival who, who existed last year? <laughs> the only two kids existed during this festival last year which was uh, Roy and Dakota now we got the whole the whole bunch got the whole gang now Bum 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 bum. <laughs> uh, da dum. What am I doing? Brain. Let's rub you, Lucy. I bet you would like the animal festival. Are you gonna Are you gonna join in? Like your dad? <laughs> dad and his snake Nacho. That was cute. That was cute. The first year we saw Luke's snake called Nacho. <laughs> There we go. Good morning! Hey, I love this! How did you know? I'm so happy! Thank you! Alright, what do you have to say about the animals? I saw different animals! I like the penguins the best way- wait, wait, what? <laughs> this is like a livestock contest! Where are you getting penguins? I guess that kind of suits her though, because the penguin is on- is on the island. Is on Toucan Island, so I guess she likes penguins. Even though they have like an emperor penguin. <laughs> they have like they have a cold climate penguin. I would understand if it was like, I don't know, Humboldt penguin. Those are more like warmer climate penguins, but nope, this is like full emperor penguin. It's probably very warm there. Good morning! Yeah, I love it! Thank you! It's fun to guess which animal won first place. Bleh, words. We can go cheer them on, get some carrots in the horse race. I don't need to give anything to you. Hi, Roy. You existed last year, so I probably talked to you already. You get to see lots of pets at the animal festival. Big animals are my favorite, of course. You like the big, the big strong ones. Alright, so we only got what? Vivian and. Vivian and Vayan. <laughs> the other kids are just a lost cause. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it'll be a short day. Short episode. The real the real good part is gonna be tomorrow, because we have another child event scheduled. Do 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 bum 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 Who's outside? Vivian? Van, are you outside? Oh, Van's outside. All right, good. Got, got some tea for you, dear. Just gotta talk to you tomorrow to see some new dialogue. What other condescending things will you say <laughs> about everyone around you? You're like, you're the boy that who like thinks he knows everything. I he probably knows a lot. He studies all the time, but you have a superiority complex now. I can't drink milk or. Eat cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, okay. That, that's that's actually pretty common in like Asian, like Asian descent. Like, do they even have cows over there? I don't know. Like Europeans kind of like developed a tolerance because like, oh, it's another food source that we can get out of, out of these like cows. And I guess like down. In Africa? I wanna say like the first milk drinkers were like maybe like the Middle East or Africa. I don't know, but like I think like the first milk drinkers drink goat's milk. 
And then like, eventually cows became the milking queens because they produced so much. Yeah, I think the first first milk drinkers drink goat's milk, I want to say. Not... I don't entirely remember. But yeah, if you if you if you have DNA of like DNA of like uh, a lot of Asian a lot of Asian countries, like you don't have the lactase enzyme that persists past childhood, because you don't need it. It's like, why would you why would you make an enzyme if like you aren't gonna drink milk past childhood? Like, it's like your body's trying to save resources, like not making something that it doesn't need. Yeah, some people, some people kept that gene. All right, Vivian, you're outside. Do -do -do. Hello, dear. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a cough. I got so much phlegm in my throat. Hello. I like cats and rabbits, but large dogs, well, I'm not afraid of them, it's just that, um, <laughs> oh, wait, that's kind of cute, that, that, that's kind of like Candace, actually, did you, did you inherit your fear of large animals from Candace? I used to be scared of dogs when I was little, because I was little, <laughs> and then like, I got over it kind of quickly. Um, Let's go to fruit fields. I think I remember one of my friends. Yeah, I was like, it was, it was like a, a kid that I hung out only on Mondays because like my brother would have like a cello lesson and we'd, we'd hang out at his house for the day and I would just like play with them, play, play with that kid. Because we were like the same age, and he had a big dog in the backyard, and I was afraid to go in the backyard for a while. But the dog, like, was friendly. Okie doke. Vivian does seem like a cute little cat and rabbit person, though. Too bad I can't talk to Angie and see what she says about this festival. No one's out here. <laughs> Guys, it's gonna empty. Aren't there, like, supposed to be more people here? I guess we can take a photo with our husband. Good morning. Have you been taking pictures of the animals? Do you want me to take a picture of you? Yes, I have a portrait with my family. Get the baby out here. Oh, so cute. <laughs> hey, she's getting so big. Me and Zephyr. Gail doing a little fist pump there. Great, I'll put it in your album. Thank you. Uh, we don't really need to buy anything, so <laughs> these stores don't need don't need to talk to any of these stores. All right, Hamilton. There are many fabulous contests. Animal contests take care of joining. I look forward to seeing everyone's amazing animals. All right, I'll let me enter a contest. We already know the contest rules. Uh, let's do a livestock contest. What goat do we want to give the crown to? <laughs> I think Billy has the crown, right? You know, I'm gonna give Duskull the crown, because he always seems to be summoned every time I whistle, even though he's last on the list. We now begin the livestock contest. The participants are Hannah, Kathy, Craig, Shelly, Simon, and Gabrielle. This is Hannah's entry, Oscar. Hey, look at this sheep. I think you entered this animal two years ago. <laughs> This is Kathy's entry, Peanut. This is all this Oh, I have a cheeky. Where's your horse? This is Craig's entry, Roxanne. I don't think the chicky's gonna win though. It probably doesn't have that many hearts. Oh, I so say you see Craig enters his horse. You can enter your horse too, Kathy. This is Gabrielle's entry, Duskull. And my goat. There he is. <laughs> sure is a goat. He was gonna win. Now to announce the winner! The winner of the livestock contest is... Who could it be? It's not me, I'll be surprised. <laughs> Gabrielle's entr entry, Duskill. Congratulations! Second place is Hannah's entry, Oscar. 
And third place goes to Craig's entry, Roxanne. Fourth place is Kathy. Fifth place is Shelly. And sixth place is Simon. First place winner gets 500 bags of feet. I'm actually happy with that. <laughs> Second place gets 300, and then third place gets 100 back. Can they really enter the contest? Like, Hannah, you're, you're like hosting. Seems like nepotism. Alright, that's it for the livestock contest. Make sure to raise your livestock for next year's. Alright, I'll have to check the barn to see if. See if, uh. We have. We have Crown on Duskull. And to see if it was passed along from Billy. I'm delighted to see that. To see you win a contest like that. Alright, let's do the pet contest. Snowball might is gonna be decrowned. We're gonna give the crown to someone else. I hope Mr. Tortoise can win. <laughs> if it doesn't win, I'll be sad. Yeah, I wanted to give I wanted to give the crown to Mr. Tortoise next. <laughs> That's why I was like petting him this morning to make sure his hearts were high enough. We will now begin the pet show. The participants are Kathy, Luke, Shelly, Chloe, Simon, and Gabrielle. This is Kathy's entry, Mimi. Okay, you have a little cute little buddy. Ta-da! This didn't break its back. Did a little tumble. This is Luke's entry, Nacho! Nacho's back! Nacho's back with a vengeance! Uh, there's a little, there's a little, uh, snake dance. This is Shelly's entry, Kuro. Hey, kitty. You're not black. <laughs> I, I think I've commented on this last year. It's like, you have a cat called black, Kuro, but it's not even black or white, which would be, like, kind of ironic. No, it's orange. <laughs> this is Gabrielle's entry, Mr. Tortoise. Hi, Mr. Tortoise, show off your stuff. There. Oh no, what? <laughs> oh no, I've never seen this! Wait! He didn't participate! <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> no, 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 the winner of the point of the pet show is. <laughs> Wait, what? That was hilarious! <laughs> Oh, what? I have to- <laughs> Was it just because he's a tortoise? Or because he's at nine hearts? <laughs> Has anyone seen that happen before? Usually they just perform the trick. Like, their- their max trick. For <laughs> Mr. Tortoise, why? <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Uh Okay, we already see the prize. I don't really care about the prizes because it's just bread, but... Hang on. Hold up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was just gonna, like, spin or something. Do his little max trick. <laughs> I didn't expect him to go full tortoise on me and just do nothing. Imagine it's just impossible to win with the tortoise. We're back! Hey, let me let me check the... Actually, I could have given the livestock crown to a chicken now that I think about it. Let me see if the crown got passed along, though. Oh, okay, so we get crowns for everyone. I could potentially get another crown if I win a race with, with a goat, but I'm not gonna attempt that. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm guessing Snowball keeps the crown then. <laughs> Alright, maybe next year I'll try Pyro? <laughs> you disappointed me, Mr. Tortoise. <laughs> why? <laughs> what, is it just because your model can't fit a crown on its head? Is that why? Alright, well, that was- okay. I finally- Okay, I just gotta breathe a bit. Let's, let's go to bed. We're, we're done for the day. We're done! We're going to sleep. We're gonna go on to the next event. I probably should have saved, but... Oh well.
I don't think anything bad's gonna happen tomorrow. All right, all right, we got a we got a title. We're the title super angler. We did ship quite a lot of fish actually. What's super? Oh, super is just below. Is just below ultimate. So sixty thousand gold worth of fish. I mostly ship like rockfish and halibut too. So what did I get for this? As a reward, you get seafood pizza times seventy. Oh my goodness! How am I gonna eat all that pizza? Oh, well, I guess something. I guess, something else for me to eat. I guess while fishing. If we got ultimate fishing, we'd have got nine body dies or extra large, which would have been nice too. But that's fine. My character can eat seventy pizzas. <laughs> All right, here we go, Zephyr. You can do it. Come to mama. <sighs> oh, he's trying so hard. He's so determined. Look at those eyebrows. Oh, he did it. He took a step. Gasp. Look, Zephyr. Incredible. Without any help, too. Kids grow up so fast. Eh, little baby steps. They should be diligent or they should be carefree. I think a lot of pressure on a toddler. You should be diligent. But yeah, that's the answer we're gonna go for. We are still going for a studious child, so pick option one. One, one, one. And then whichever. For if you have wizard's kid. If you have someone else's kid, you, you gotta double check. I also forgot to put the link in the description to the to the questionnaire order, so I gotta remember to do that. Dagnabbit. Alright, they should be diligent. Yes, that's true. There's a lot to learn out there. Hello, Gabrielle. I made a box lunch. Please eat it. You received perfect hearty lunch. Good, I can also eat that while fishing. Alright. The baby stays the same. <laughs> Doesn't change. So. Alright, we're in summer. Just. <laughs> tortoise, you just disappointed me yesterday. <laughs> but I gotta laugh. So, it'll be two weeks before we get. Um, another child event. Still gonna be a babu, but. Yeah. We'll, we'll do some more grinding off screen. Alright, let's take a walk around. Uh. I already fed the animals, I just put extra feed so I won't have to worry about it. Gotta remember to train zits. Keep forgetting that he's up here and just like going about my day. Hey, right, come on. Don't be confused. Don't hit yourself in confusion. A 10 hut. Alright, and let's just grab the gifts we need for today. Well, we won't talk to too many people, even though they probably will have new stuff to say. Mentioning our child's first steps. Oh yeah, we'll certainly talk. We'll talk to the rival kids. Uh, who else? We got we got another shiny egg for Heath. And I guess we'll find Matt today. So give him a sunflower. We got found some tea. Oh right, it's also. Angie's birthday. I, I know I didn't celebrate like Roy or Dakota's birthday. <laughs> I mean, they, they're just kind of happy when you give them a gift. They're like, oh wow, you remembered my birthday. But yeah, the, the rival children do have like birthday days, even though it's not it's not put on the calendar. The, the game like does remember that they were born on that day. <laughs> kind of feel like they should have marked it on the calendar. They marked everyone else's birthday that you're like good friends with. Actually, I think they only marked the bachelors, <laughs> actually. Oh well. A little bit lazy there, I suppose. Do, 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 do. So, let's be on our way. Not to go too crazy here. Okay, it's Sunday, which means it's gonna be a little bit difficult to find Van. And Vivian. He's like, oh, actually, I can, I can go in Vivian's house whenever. It'll be difficult to find Van. So we should probably, we should probably track him. <laughs> I don't know, he might go to school or something. Corral Clinic. 
And he does spend time outside as well. Swing around a bit. Eh. I think until seven is fine. I think. I think Lucy comes out at seven. Come on out. There's Bo. Who did I summon? It's Duskull. Why is, why is Duskull the one that's always summoned? I don't get it. He's like the last animal on my list. I have to do something about that. Oh well. At least he has a crown on his head, so I, I kind of know it's him. It's either him or Billy. Good morning! Hey, I love this! How did you know? I'm so happy, thank you! What's your last dialogue? I want a lot of kids when I get married. Really? The more the merrier! That's kind of odd, because usually having kids ends your dancing career. <laughs> well, you're... Actually, my sister was like that, though. Even though she's a ballet dancer, when she was little, like, when she wanted to grow up, she wanted to be a mommy with a baby in her tummy. Like, pregnant, not like... She didn't, she didn't want to eat babies, but... <laughs> But still. <laughs> yeah, she, she quickly grew out of that. Now she's like, children are the spawn of the devil. So I'm like, oh, so you're saying you're the devil. Because they're your spawn. They'd be your spawn. <laughs> Alright. They say I was a fast walker. I hope Zephyr learns to run soon. Oh boy, you probably caused a lot of problems for your parents. Just like, <laughs> you learn how to walk and now she's running. Running off that cliff out here. This would be a dangerous place to raise a baby. I think I mentioned that before. It's like, there's no way. They're, they're playing right by a cliffside. I, I did say I was only gonna talk to rival kids, but no. But now I'm kind of curious. See what other people say. Love watching the sunset on the forest. That's nothing to do with my child. Your baby's already walking? That's amazing. Life seems more exciting with, exciting with kids. I also talk to the king. I think I forgot to talk to the king, uh, the Harvest King, last episode. Even though I said I was, I was just like, da 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 da, going into the mines. But I did talk to him off screen. He just says something along the lines of, like, like oh, your child is already crawling, humans grow so quickly. And that, that was pretty much the nature of the dialogue. <laughs> Okay, look, Keith should come out at 8. Actually, can I- do you like inside the store? <laughs> okay. I was like, if the store opens at 7, then I'll kind of feel like an idiot. That's fine. That's fine, it's Harvest Moon, we can do dumb things. Rub, 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 rub. Right, Heath, I think we're gonna see your 8 heart dialogue, and now you just have- You just have one more dialogue bit, and then we'll be done with you. Good morning! Yay, I love it! Thank you! My mom and dad are amazing. They know so much stuff. They're so cool. I really look up to them. Oh, that's good. A lot of times as kids get older, they're like, Ugh, I don't care about my parents. I'm gonna be an angsty teenager. The baby's walking? Maybe we can race someday! Yeah, a little, a little bit older. He's still a little tiny tot. He can barely move. <laughs> Actually, I wonder. I wonder if my kid goes outside now. Um, this is kind of thing of trade trade quality. I know it's hilarious. Like, once your child learned how to walk in the afternoon, um, they would go outside, and it was kind of funny just seeing like a little toddler just kind of walking like a zombie outside. I don't know if I'll do that in this game though. Like, the characters don't really seem to path. As they did in like Tree of Tranquility, so I'm pretty sure he's just gonna stay inside all day. Good morning! I wanna grow up faster, I wanna be stronger. Alright, we already seen this dialogue a million times. 
The baby started walking? I want to play with the baby soon! In one more month, I think, the baby will be ready <laughs> to be friends with all of you. And oh boy, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of child events at that point. Because <laughs> I have all the rival kids, like... <laughs> pretty much max heart, or at least they, they satisfy all the requirements for, uh... Any event that they might have with my child, so we're just gonna probably get a bunch off the wazoo. It's gonna be hard to avoid them. Hmm. All right, my worries. I don't care about your worries. We're done with you, Harvest King. We're not dating anymore. I like the summer sun. It's very invigorating. You should go home. What about my child? I like the summer sun. You're just ignoring me. Come on, you said something about my child crawling. A child will eventually surpass you. You will eventually part ways. You must remember that. Why is that so depressing? Thank you, Harvest King. I just had a baby and now you're telling me about my eventual death. <laughs> my fragile mortality. Ugh. I guess I shouldn't feel that bad for, uh, for my son, though. He is part wizard. He's probably going to live a lot longer than, than an average human. Whoa, that was, that was some depressing dialogue. <laughs> I was like, come on, we're like recent mother and child. Like, not, we're not going anywhere yet. And I thought, okay, I definitely saw you outside on the tracker, so... Let's give you this. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Huh? I love this. How did you know? Thank you so much. My father tells me that it's childish to think that you're special. I'll have to reflect on that. All right. Yeah. Don't don't get your bri your bridges too high. It's like. <laughs> You might think you're number one, but like, there's a lot of people that are just like you. You, you. you don't get special treatment. wonder what my oldest memory is. I try to remember, but I can't. Memory is a strange thing. I don't know. It's all in your brain and eventually... It's kind of scary to think, like, eventually all that turns off. <laughs> but then, like, when it turns off, it's like you don't have that fear. Because <laughs> fear is like a mental construct. <laughs> No, oh, well, it's getting too deep here. Where's Vivian? There you are. Are you brushing your hair? Uh, I don't need to give you anything. Good morning. I'm going to study hard and become the mayor of this town. I think that parents should teach their children as well as teachers. Babies are very unpredictable. You can't take your eyes off them, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> and I also have one eye covered. Gail's taking care of the baby. Probably not. Gale does leave the house, like, if I don't set him to do any, like, chores. He does leave in the afternoon. He technically does, like, do stuff. But, uh... He is a fortune teller, so... <laughs> he leaves in the afternoon to do those duties. Um... Uh, let's go to Fruit Fields, talk to Angie, Dakota, and Matt. And then, yeah, we could just go home. End of the day. Do more grinding off screen, booty. Now I'll probably work on that today. Uh, we do have a festival on the seventh, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. I kind of want to, just cause you get like a family picture. Kind of nasty to see that, but it will in probably involve me, like, it, it would mean I have to like sleep for another week <laughs> before we get like an actual cutscene, unless I decide to do something different. I could do something different. I think we have, like, enough events to, like, be able to get, like, all my children up to ten hearts and, like, not have to worry about, like, missing any dialogue, but I don't know. I'm kind of, like, saving everything <laughs> to make sure I do get, like, the dialogue out of my children. Hello! What a birthday gift! Can I really have it? Thank you very much! It's your birthday. Be so grateful. All right, blah, blah blah winning dress. Children grow so fast. You need to buy shoes often. 
It is not good to buy shoes that are too big. Yeah, because then you like trip over your own feet. But yeah, <laughs> that, that that's an issue. Parents with new kids and just like pop out of shoes like crazy. Is Matt here? Is he like walking? Is he walking? Yeah, I think he's walking. Dang it. <laughs> I couldn't enter a building and exit it. And he'll like just poof at the bridge. I think he's down here. He's taking a little stroll towards the river. There's your boy! There's your boy Matt. Do, do. Hello! Wow, this is my favorite! Thanks a bunch! My mom and dad always tell me to, to give serious thought of how we can keep the rivers, ocean, mountains, and fields clean and pretty. It's hard, but I'll keep thinking about it. A lot of pressure on a kid to keep everything clean. Luckily, this place is fairly clean compared to other places. Walking already? Now yeah, I can take walks together, can we? <laughs> I don't think I could take my child out. I could check, but it doesn't hurt to double check. I kind of want to see him walking around like a zombo. Dakota, I didn't give you anything for your birthday, but that's fine. Hello. I'm gonna be a food critic when I grow up. But I also want to make perfume and do aromatherapy as well. Why I hate summer, I'm sticky all over. As you smile. Can you say something about my child, please? <laughs> it's not about you, it's about me. Can the baby eat solid foods now? I have to share lots of I have lots of sweets to share. Don't give the baby sugar. Not yet. It hasn't been ruined by it yet. <laughs> Once you get that first taste, you can never stop. So right. I mean, yeah, let's go home and see if, if I can actually take baby on walk. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll kind of like swing my fishing rod around to see if he like actually goes outside and like walks around like a zombie baby like they did in Trade Tranquility. If not, then yeah, I'll just go to bed. <laughs> just not worry about it too much. Do, do, do. Hey Gail, what the heck are you doing out here? Good morning. The bells have told, and yes, indeed, they have. I want to be with you forever and ever, and to love you until the very end. Chance of rain, zero percent. Thank you for telling me the weather. The child walks. Amazing. Indeed. But can I actually, can it actually walk? <laughs> or is it just for show? Child. You cannot walk. I cannot even set you down. Alright, let me swing my pole around. If, if it does go out, it would be like at noon. But we'll like stretch it to one. See if it actually comes out of the house. I mean, Gail yeah, comes out of the house. Yeah, I remember Tree and Tranquility, like... I don't know if I even showed this in the recordings. <laughs> But I remember just like kind of grinding off screen and like doing chores like the baby would walk out and like it would go down the path obviously like different layout because it's like it's not the same game or town it would just walk down the path and like I think get to the crossroads at some point and then like it would walk back home and it was really weird looking <laughs> really weird looking it was just it just walked like a zombie the best way I can describe it Alright, I, I swing a fishing pole back and forth. Let's look at one experience point for doing this. I wonder if I'm gonna win the fishing contest actually on the 7th the fish festival. Let me actually see. Like, I've obviously shipped like 60,000. Summer. Actually, the summer. That's a firefly festival. My bad. The summer. The summer festival is on the seventeenth. I want to do the firefly festival. I mean, we could get a family photo. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure the dialogue's gonna be exactly the same as it was last year. It's just like 
it's just since we're married, we're, we'll get a smooch from our husband. But that's pretty much it. No, we shall see. I'll think about it. I'll probably do it anyway. That'd be a big recording. Because <laughs> in the summer festivals on the 17th, I'm like, well, that's only like a few days away after my child event. Maybe I should lump that in too. Just do like a mega summer episode. Yeah, I have all day to think about it, so. I'll think about that while I'm grinding my fishing skill this week. It's almost one, and he hasn't—he has not exited the building. <laughs> yeah, he's not—he's not doing anything. I'll keep an eye out to see if he does like toddle along, but I don't think he's gonna. So righty, so we're done here. Another child landmark finished. I was pleasantly surprised how the animal festival went. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I lost it. I wasn't expecting that. I was all like, oh, we're get, we're get, we'll get the crowd for Mr. Tortoise next. Like, nope. He not gonna perform. <laughs> so yeah, that, that put a smile on my face. <laughs> Alright, we want to save over file too. I don't think the baby profile changes at all. Yeah, baby is still a toddler stage. So alrighty. So we're first. Okie doke, so for next episode, once again, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Firefly Festival. But yeah, it'll be a lot of editing, because I'll, I'll have to, like, play until, like, the 7th. Day of the 7th, and then, like, quickly sleep through these days to get to the 15th, which is our next child event, and then, like, sleep two more days for the Summer Festival. Super sketch. Super scuffed. Super scuffed recording that will be. Alrighty. Anywho, I hope you guys had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.